Hey guys, how is everybody? I am um, Diane, for the y'all that don't know me, and I have a Timu haul for y'all today. Uh, it's not a very big one, but um, it's a lot of odd and ends, more odd than ends. Um, y'all that been watching me knew, knows that I've been doing my bedroom and I've been waiting for these um, window treatments to come in huh and they came in and they're the ugliest color ever <laughs> I got to show you these things right off the bat I'll just get right into this this is the bag they come in they look <clears throat> they look just like, um, they're like a baby green hoop is what the color reminds me of. And I'm going to return them. I should not have tried to match yellows. Um, I would have been better off with, they did come in like a gray and it come in a, um, like a white creamy color and I should have got either one of those but this is what it looks like you can't even really tell but if you get kind of closer like it is the ugliest if it's supposed to be yellow it's the ugliest yellow that I've ever seen but let me try to stand up and I mean that it's made great like it's really really nicely made like that's the front of it and then if you go along the side the sides go all the way down to get to the bottom and it has kind of these little things hanging off of them these little bead looking things they're uh, excuse me they're very well made I mean a nice a nice thick material and they're sewn really good it's just the color I mean, and, you know, it's really hard to match colors if you're not really seeing it, you know, right up, right up, right then. It's hard to order colors on, you know, online. So, these are going to go back, and I'm debating whether I want to go ahead and order the gray ones or not. Um, I think I am. So... That was, that was, that was a no. So, I'm going to have to return these. I'm going to try to get them in there in the mail as soon as I can so I can go ahead and reorder the other ones. <clears throat> and, um, I got this really cute lamp. The box came in kind of pretty crushed up, but the lamp was so cute. Let me take this down. I kind of took it out and hooked it up to see what it looked like, but it came comes with the USB cord. And look at that! How and it's got it's got like the little bird on the top, and that's the way it looks. And you push it down here. Let me see if it'll come on. Oh yeah, there it goes. See how bright it is? It's got more, I think it'll go like, yeah, it'll go dim, goes bright, and then it goes to a dimmer one, and then, then off. But this thing is flexible, like you can move it like that, or, you know, you can stand it upright. But isn't that cute? It's so cute. And I guess you could put like something down in here if you wanted to. That's the way it looks underneath. I, I was really, this is so cute. I'm going to actually order another one of these uh, for my granddaughter's room. She wants a pink one. So, and I'll put this stuff in the description box. I can't remember how much I paid for the lamp. I know the curtains were like $16 a piece. So, I'm thinking the lamp was like $8, but 
I told myself that I was going to write the prices down and put them on my box, on the stuff where I could actually tell y'all this time, and I forgot. And I got this. I got this for the baby, for Abby. It's a, it's a bubble gun. <laughs> you put the bubbles in it and uh, push that button there. I don't have any bubbles in it to show y'all. I've got to let my husband take a look at this to see exactly where. But whenever I took this out, it had it had one missing on it. it. One was broke off. I don't know if that can be fixed or not. I have it here in the sack. No, it looks like it broke off. Oh, well, that's not a big deal. But it shoots out like 32 bubbles. So, isn't that cute? She'll love it. There'll be bubbles going everywhere. Got that. And I bought another one of these uh, microwave deals. I had already ordered one. And it works great. I mean, this thing really works well. You stick it up at the top of your uh, microwave and it has like magnets in here. And uh, the magnet, you know, holds it up to the top of the microwave. And then whenever you put something in there like soup or whatever, you know, and you don't want it to splash everywhere, which my kids are terrible about splashing stuff all over the microwave. You just pull it down and you know cook your stuff and and it doesn't splash everywhere and it really works well so I'll probably send that back as well since I got I didn't know that I do that a lot so I'll probably send that one back since I've got to send stuff back on this order so I got that and um, this box on don't remember what's in this box. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we always say that. We don't know. And then we open it. Oh, yeah. This is some really nice salt and pepper shakers. Like, they are really well made. It's stainless steel on the top and right here. And I guess that you just yeah, just unscrews and you just fill it up. I've been needing some for a while. And these are pretty enough that I don't really leave mine out. I usually keep them up in the cupboard. So, I'll, these are pretty enough to le actually leave out there. So, yeah, I really like these. Those are nice. And... This is another thing that's going back. It is a car vacuum cleaner. And this thing, I laughed when I opened it. And you know, you get what you pay for it. And it's my fault because I didn't look at the measurements or anything on it. I'm so bad about doing that. But it, um, that's how big it is. It hooks into the ashtray and that's how big it is like that's the canister of it like if you take that off like that's how big it is like it's what could you pick up with this that's what I don't understand like it might pick up like the the dust around like the dashboard but and I guess you know that's all you could expect out of it but this goes in there like that, that little part of it, and then that goes on there like that, this little tiny brush, but I, I didn't hook it up because I didn't go out to the car and hook it up to see exactly how powerful it is, and I might check that out before I actually send it back, but that's that, and you know, like, I gotta send a package back and I thought I'm just gonna go ahead and return this too because I don't think that I'll really ever use it. It's my car is a mess all the time because I have so many grandkids. So I don't know that that would be very handy for me. So 
I will probably return that with the curtains and the microwave deal. So, okay, I got me some of these. Let me take these out of the package. I think these are going to be really pretty. I'll do a little short video or something on these. And Oh, shoot. I should have gotten some batteries so I could show y'all what these look like. They're these little flowers that light up. I'm going to go get me some batteries. I thought there was something else. Yeah. Be right back. Okay, I'm back. Here's the the little flowers. Let me see if I turn this light off over here if you can see them any better. Well, a little bit, but that ring light's on still. But they're so pretty, like, I don't know if you can tell or not. But the little, uh, you can't. See the little deals up here, they light up too. Yeah, I got a place that I'm wanting to put these. While I had the light off, I'm going to go ahead and show you this other deal that I got. I got this for my tall vase that I have on my um, long dresser over there. And it looks like this. It's just a branch that has these little flowers on the end. And you turn it on and that's what it looks like. I thought it would just really be a really pretty touch to that vase over there that I already have my flowers in. But, isn't that pretty? I really like that. Let me turn my lamp back on. So, those are those two things. And I got some of these. Um, these are to hold your, uh, these are ties, tie backs to hold your curtains. And it's long like that, and it's two. Those are really pretty. They're uh, pearls, and they just snip together like that. So, that's how that goes. And <clears throat> I did have an idea that I was going to use them in here in the bedroom, but it didn't work out like that. So, I have these for, you know, for maybe something else I want to do with them whenever I go to change my window treatment in the living room. I got a big window in there, so I might use them somewhere else. And let's see. Didn't have really very much in this. <clears throat> I got two of these that I needed to um, do this little deal that I'm doing. And this is the flowers that they have. It's just, they need to be and I hope, as always, they stink. Um, they just, they're just like that. They're really pretty. Their, their flowers and stuff are really pretty. So, anyway, I've got to, might take the steamer to that and see if I can't get that to relax a little bit. And I got two of these. So, that's all that. And, um, I got... This, uh, really, this is the little flowers lit up, and the flowers in the vase. I thought that looked pretty cute, just draped around the dresser like that. Well, guys, I was almost done with my whole haul, and my camera just cut off. Uh, I had to go in and clear out my storage and all that stuff because it wouldn't let me film anymore or record anymore, not film. But um, anyway, I'm going to get to where, I'm going to try to get to where it cut off on me at. And I think I was showing y'all the backpack. Um, this backpack here of my granddaughter's. Um, she wanted this particular backpack to start, to start school with, and, um, it's really nice. It has, it's made out of really good material. It has this zipper in the front here, and it has the two big, uh, deep pockets on the side. Uh, let me move my camera down a little bit. It's pretty high up there. 
So, um, and it's it's really big inside. It's it's hard for y'all to tell because this is all black, but it's got a zipper on the inside. There's a pocket here with the zipper in it. And on this side, there's two more big pockets in there that she can fit, you know, whatever, pencils or, but she has to carry a, a Chromebook. So they have to carry their Chromebook home back and forth to school every day. So it'll fit perfect in there. And the other girls are, their, their backpacks are on their way. So got that. And um, this here, I was really, um, shocked by this this perfume it's a uh, little daisy and I was watching uh, one of the ladies and it it's a dupe of somebody's but I can't remember who and I think the perfume is actually called daisy on the the real one but that's how that is and I already kind of open this because I was really excited about how big the box was but here's the bottle isn't that pretty like uh, this is all like really nice I mean that is so nicely made it's really nice and it smells really good But yeah, it smells really good. Spray some on my arm. It's kind of dark in here. It smells so good. It smells kind of flowery, you know. Of course, it's got flowers on the bottle. But yeah, it smells really nice. Kind of like a floral, but it's a real clean scent too. So yeah, I was really impressed by that. I really love their perfume, their cologne, but the only downfall is that it doesn't stay on you. Like, it smells really nice, it's, it's, it smells like the real thing and stuff, but it doesn't last at all. Like, that's the only bad thing. You would have to really carry it around with you and keep spraying yourself all day long. But the price is great, and it does smell like it, and it's uh, really beautiful bottles. But that's that. And um, before I get into that, I wanted to show you the ring that I got. I already put it on. It's this one here. It's, it's really pretty. It's, it's heavy made. It's it's not cheap you know like it's not plastic but it really looks nice on the hand my my fingernails look so bad they need to be fixed all this work I've been doing and they're looking rough I am looking rough I need to do some but it's been so hot here I'm telling you what you just I can't wait till it starts getting cool cool off where I can wear all those pretty shirts and stuff that I have. It just feels like they just stick to me right now. I just can't. I just want to put on something cottony and go. <clears throat> hey, the next thing that I got is a broom. And this is a this is a no. And it's all the parts. This is the handle. I'm not going to put all of this together, but it's kind of explanatory, you know, how all of it goes together. And I was really wanting this to work because it would, but I'm not going to send it back. I'm going to go ahead and keep it. But the reason why it's, it's, um, here's the dustpan. And I like it because it has those teeth in it. And here's the broom part of it. You know, and you can just sweep it like that to get the hair off of it or the whatever. That's a great idea. Like, that's a great idea. The only thing is, is this broom is too, 
um, after after I ordered it and it was already on the way, I had watched um, a lady that w had it in her hall, and I was like, oh no, and she was sweeping the floor with it, and it wasn't really picking up anything, so... But you know what? I'm going to keep the dustpan because the dustpan's great and I think it'll work with any kind of broom, you know, the teeth as far as, you know, goes. But I did pay like almost $9 for it. But still, you know, and I can use this for something else. I can use it for getting cobwebs or, you know, whatever. But I have a cat, Daisy, so I need something a little bit more you know, sturdier and stronger um, to get all her hair up. And of course, Abby, she's always dropping stuff. So I need something for her little tail. But uh, that's all I have for today on my Timu. And I have tons more to show y'all. And um, I didn't really talk too much about Timu. It's just an online uh, marketplace that I really love to shop at. And I'm addicted to the uh, to the YouTube channel. There's so many people on there. I just love to watch them. Like, you know, they just look like just such down to earth, nice people. And you think, oh man, you wish that all these people were your neighbors. I wish some of y'all were my neighbors. Y'all are so kind and sweet. But that's all I have for tonight. And always, always, I love you from Texas. And I'll see you next time. Bye for now.